Hi guys, so I wanted to make a video on um, pretty much explaining who Jesus was and um, the significance of him coming here and, um, you know, what he actually did for us and um, in basically why it matters, pretty much, and so yeah, um, I'm going to just get right into this, um, sorry guys, so one thing I do want to explain is that, um, uh, or to kind of clear up is that a lot of people believe that Jesus Christ is God himself. And I'm not saying this to, you know, offend anybody or, you know, get, make anybody upset. Um, but Jesus is not God himself. Um, he was, he pretty much reflected God. Um, because he was in a relationship with God and, you know, he was connected to him, um, he pretty much reflected God and pre people pretty much saw God through him. Um, but Jesus, Jesus is Lord over us, but he is not God himself. Jesus did not create the universe. Jesus didn't create you and me. He, um, you know, he, he's not the creator himself. Um, yes, he is Lord over us and he is head over the church, but he, he's not God himself. Um, God and Jesus are two different people pretty much. Um, but Jesus reflected God and pretty much gave people a taste of who God was. Um, so yeah, that that's one thing that I wanted to clear up. And again, that's not to offend anybody. Um, you know, if, if anybody does want to talk about that, you're, you know, more than welcome to leave a comment and I will you know, um, you know, get back to you guys on it and, um, you know, I will, I'll respond to it and yeah, you guys are, are welcome to, you know, talk to me about this stuff. Um, but when you actually read the scriptures, um, I don't know, a lot of people, they, they, um, I don't know, it, it, it's not, I don't know, it's not actually in the scriptures, you know, Jesus was his own person, um, and that being said, we, we're supposed to be like Jesus, um, we're supposed to give people a taste of God through us, you know, we're supposed to be just like him, and, um, you know, be in a relationship with God and um, the closer you get to him, the more you will reflect him. Um, you know, we're, we're supposed to be the same as he is. You know, Jesus was a normal human being like you and me, you know, that, you know, learned who he was. And um, the only difference was that he never sinned. That's the only difference between, um, that kind of separates him from, you know, us from him because he, he's never sinned once. And, um, you know, and because of that, he, um, you know, he was pure and he, um, no, he never once let sin um, get the best of him. And yeah, so, you know, because of that, he's 
he is Lord over us and, um, you know, he's, he's worthy and he, he was, um, you know, he was worthy of his calling and he, you know, he, he was, he was clean till the end, pretty much. Um, and basically the, um, the significance of him coming here was for somebody to pretty much take the punishment for us. You know, he, well, he did more than that. Um, Jesus didn't only take the punishment for us. He also came here and he taught people and counseled people and, you know, he pretty much planted seed seeds everywhere he went and um he came here for an example he came here to guide us and um to learn from him and you know he he did more than just die for our sins he um you know he like i said counseled us and um you know he cured people while he was here he performed miracles and um again just mainly like he came for our our example we are supposed to be like him and because he died for our sins because he took the punishment which i'll make another video explaining that more you know how he took the, you know, took the punishment and um, why he had to go through all that. But because he took the punishment, there's no excuse for our sins now. You know, we, because of him, we are clean and we are to continue that way. And if you mess up and you happen to backslide or you know, whatever the case may be, you know, there's, there's still redemption for you. Um, you know, he, um, you just, you pretty much get back up, dust yourself off and, you know, learn from it and continue, um, in God's will, because you can't be in sin. And you're going to hear me say this over and over again in a lot of my videos, you cannot be in sin and be in a relationship with God at the same time. If you are in a willful sin that you know God doesn't want you to do, you need to turn your back on it and you need to make a decision. You know, do you want God and, you know, what he has for you? Or do you just want to just say that you're a Christian and not actually experience anything and you know, pretty much miss out on this adventure that, you know, God has for you and the good works that you could be doing for, for him, for other people, because the things that God has for you, you may have challenges and, um, stuff may, you know, things might try to get in your way to get you to stumble, but um, the life that he, the calling that he has for you, the stuff that he puts in your heart to do, it's actually gonna, you know, benefit you and other people. And again, there's going to be troubles, you know, there's going to be tribulations up ahead, but you will get through it with God and, um, it'll be worth it. So... Yeah, that's what I wanted to say in this video. Um, and again, um, if you have any questions or, or any comments, I do ask that you be respectful, but you know, you are welcome to, um, you know, whether you're a Christian, Christian or not, um, you're welcome to comment and, you know, um, talk to me about any of this stuff, you know? There's always something we can learn from each other. So, yeah, so that's it.